All right, this is a real quick video on now what happens when events are independent. Now, what we've discussed prior is this right here. When you have the probability of A and B, well, you need to find the probability of A. Now, we're talking about flipping a coin. So we're going to look at probably that, uh, that the first toss is ahead. Then the next one is the probability of B given A, that the that you get heads on the second toss given that you've got heads on the first toss. Now, these are independent events. That means the, the second toss doesn't depend on the first toss. All right, that's this right here. The second one does not depend on the first toss. So with that being said, remember we've discussed this prior that when you have independent events, the probability that B given A is equal to the probability of just B. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the formula of probability of A and B, and we're going to rewrite it as the probability of A times the probability of B given A. So this is the formula. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute, okay, this little part right here, the probability of B, since probability of B is equal to the probability of B given A during an independent event, we're just going to replace that right there. And what I end up getting is the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A and B. Now remember, this is only during independent events.